Good evening. Normally at this time we present to you the X-Files gag reel, as many of you know. But uh, the only thing that's going to be funny tonight is that little thing I just did with the nameplates. Because tonight's a little different. This is our last one. And I want to be a little more serious, a more heartwarming, touching, affecting all of us, warm. And what better place to start a trip down memory lane than here in the X-Files office where it all began. So without further ado, we'd like to present to you our little film. We know you'll enjoy it. It's gag-free, but it's offered with love. I don't think so. Come on. Get down with your bad self. Action. 4.54 p.m. 4.54 p.m. <laughs> character can become a little buffoonish, you know, and that's what I got to watch out for, because I don't want the character to be a buffoon. Run, Kelly, run! George, 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 Agent Mulder, I am standing out here in the rain and the mud, looking at two graves that we dug up in some cemetery, looking at two graves in some cemetery that we dug up, and we dug up someone, something, where we dug up something, somebody, something that I can't explain. I'm gonna start from the top. Agent Miles, Agent Mulder, I am standing here in the rain and the mud, looking at two coffins that we, Agent Mulder, I am standing out here in the rain and the mud and the rain and the force summoned Teresa ne Nevin's body. Nevin's body. Nevin's body. And the force summoned Teresa Nevin's body into the woods okay, tonight. Okay, go again. And Teresa Nevin okay. and, the okay, right. and the force, it summoned Teresa Nevin's into the woods tonight. Yes! We work for the Federal Bureau of Investigation and we're being bugged. What does that tell you? It tells me that maybe there's more to life than just sitting in a chair and <laughs> sprouting and gobbledy out. Our presence here in the You fear. Okay, I'm good. You fear for your child. You you feel for your child. You fear for your child. He's with Scully in good hands. What did he do? To Sweetheart. What did he do? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Dr. 
Samson. I think it's Sackheim. No, they changed it. They did? I didn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Cobalt's dead. I mean, Agent Mulder's shot. Oh, Sorry. Morse code. I don't feel so good. What does it mean? <laughs> you familiar with the dumbass show? Familiar with the dumbass show? Can't you just print that one, Kim? <laughs> I can't say it again. Well, I thought we were starting with your line. I'm sorry. Oh, Are sorry. we? Okay, okay. What did you find? Land. Remember? <laughs> I, I'm glad you. Uh, yeah. What did you find? It's what the entomologist. <laughs> John, she's gone. <laughs> I promise Sorry. she's gone. There's no measurable electrical activity in the brain. It'll take a full day. <laughs> He's pissed. That was great, though. Nine seasons, over 200 episodes. Remarkable. It's been a ride that we'll never forget. Historical. Groundbreaking. There's never been anything like it. Honors galore. Emmys, Golden Globes. Just amazing. Jillian, David, Mitch, Robert, Annabeth. We loved every minute. But there's something we all have to say, because, as we all know, The X-Files begins and ends with one man. Thanks, Chris. Chris, thanks for a great three and a half years on X Files, second unit. Well, thank you for your thank you very much. Your creative challenges. I look forward to doing another one. Hey, Chris, it's been exciting, challenging, and very much rewarding. Thanks. Chris, it's been great. Thanks for the memories. Thanks, thanks Chris. Chris. This has been a great ride. Thanks for everything. It's been a pleasure working with you. Thanks for a great nine years. I'm glad it's over because there's no more actors left. I hope to work with you again. Thanks for letting us be a part of the most awesome show in Hollywood. From the bottom of Transportation's heart, 
Thank you, Chris. Hey, Chris. Thank you for the 85 features. 1013 could not attend this thank you montage due to their heavy workloads, but they asked me to read this prepared speech. <coughs> It all began nine years ago when Chris Carter... And we did all these episodes and we did like over 200 of them and then... So I've got 30 seconds to talk about how my life just wouldn't be the same if it wasn't for you standing up and saying that I was, you know, kind of okay, like the right person for this character and when everybody else thought that I wasn't. From all of us at the Red Cup Cafe. Cheers! Cheers. I just want to thank you for being a producer that, that stuck with the show for so long and guided it so well and was so, so loyal to it. Thank you, Chris. When we do the syndicated version, I'm gonna cut this bit out. Thanks, Chris, for the last four years. We'll never be able to make another veggie sandwich without thinking of you. Thanks for letting me be a part of television history. <laughs> you are my everything. <laughs> <laughs> Big thanks from Set Deck for uh, bringing the show to LA. Thanks, and God bless you, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Thanks a lot. I, I remember from the very first phone call that I had with you when you told me not to dress so dumpy for the audition. And then all the other phone calls that we had when you reminded me that Scully wouldn't cry when she pointed the gun at a monster. Hey, Chris, we just wanted to say uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. It's been great. Thanks, Thanks for, for making, making us use our heads. heads. Uh, thank you for all the changes that it's made in my life. And... Um, I will, uh, I will see you in the future, so I won't say goodbye. I'll just say, see you next time. Thanks for the fun, the opportunity, and the cash. Ah, <laughs> hey, Chris, thanks. It's all made from dreams, and yours are great. Break a leg on the next one. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> thanks, Chris. On behalf of the entire accounting department, Chris, we want to thank you for four terrific seasons. Thanks for the last 20 years. Of I mean, the last seven years of the X-Files. Seriously, man, it's been great. Thanks, Chris. It's the best thing we've ever done. Thanks, Chris. Hey, Chris. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have this. All my best hopes and wishes for you in the future and for all of us. I want to say thanks a lot for uh, making me a part of the show. It's been a blast. Hey, Chris, now that it's all over, I have this incredible urge to kick you in the ass. Thanks, Chris. We don't feel so good now that the series is ending, but it's been good. Real good! Chris, from all of us to you, thanks. So it's a great two seasons. It's been an yeah, interesting boys. decade. Thanks. South of Sunset by 2005, man. Thanks, thanks Chris. Chris. All right. Thanks for nine years. Thank you, Chris. Thanks for letting me be the closer. I had a great time. Thank you, Chris, for nine great seasons. Hey, and don't forget... I made this. Hey Elvis, just what are we doing here on ISS? Well, Radar, in a universe of infinite probability, we must expect the unexpected, play our hunches, and anticipate the unforeseen. Uh, without this mindset, we are at the mercy of anything that cannot be uh, programmed, categorized, or easily referenced. Elvis, you're starting to sound like Mulder again. I thought we were looking for Susan's X-Files DVDs. Oh, sorry, Radar. I think the alien has them. No surprise there. Chris, we would like to thank you for your great work in creating the X-Files. We have enjoyed them through the years and will continue to enjoy them on DVD, on Earth, and on ISS. The X-Files represents the uh, uh, best in television, creative, thoughtful, unique. The X-Files ranks uh, up with the uh, Twilight Zone as a show that pushed the envelope of TV programming, bringing some great moments, sometimes funny, sometimes scary, but always enjoyable. And Chris, as you know, watching X-Files was one of the X-Crew's favorite pastimes in Star City. Thanks again for X-Files, and best of luck in the future.